YouTube, what's going on? In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at a build with the new updated Gear Falcons Hauberk chest piece for Hunters. So essentially what they did with the rework is they gave you volatile rounds after you come out of being invisible. So anytime you're invis, as soon as you shoot your weapon, you gain volatile rounds, which is absolutely ridiculous. Alongside the volatile rounds, if you defeat a combatant with a finisher, all of your weapons gain bonus damage if you are invisible, and your allies gain a reserve overshield as well as class ability regen. These reserve overshields can be deployed by using a class ability. So basically, they just made this chess piece one of the best chess pieces for hunters in the game. Moving on over to the subclass here, we can take a look. Our super is going to be either Deadfall or Mobius Quiver. This one is kind of up to you. I prefer Deadfall just for the tether buff for your teammates damage. The class ability here is going to be the Marksman Dodge, so you can be reloading your weapons when you go invisible. Getting your melee ability back is not as necessary, so that is why I'm going with Marksman's Dodge here. The jump, just use whatever you want. I prefer triple jump. For the nade, I run vortex nades. However, you could run something like scatter nades as well. And then for our aspects, we're going to be running vanishing step and stylish executioner. Stylish executioner pairs perfectly with volatile rounds as anytime you defeat a volatile target, you get invisibility and true sight which you're going to be basically doing all the time with volatile rounds. So you're basically going to be constantly refreshing your invis. Vanishing step, obviously, to make yourself go invis with a dodge. For the fragments here, we are going to run Echo of Remnants so your vortex nades last longer. We're going to be running Persistence so your void buffs like Invisibility, Devour, and Overshield last longer. We're going to be running Starvation for Devour. And then we're going to be running Echo of Obscurity for Invisibility after a finisher because the chest piece gives you a damage buff to your your weapons if you do a finisher so this pairs perfectly as well as getting a nice little boost to recov now if we look at our build here for our weapon you can kind of run whatever i would obviously run wither horde here for weak and clear if you want to run that smg definitely the move in my personal opinion i love every waking moment however funnel web works just as well it also does work with uh wave frame gl so you could run a wave frame like deafening whisper or dead messenger and get volatile rounds on your wave frame but i always prefer to run something like an smg and ar you could even run a hand cannon if you want and then i just have corrective measure on here you're heavy you can be whatever you want you'll get volatile rounds with your type in if you want to run that or you could run a machine gun for some insane ad clear like with corrective measure you could also run a sword too if you want now moving on to our armor here on the helmet what i'm going to be running is reaping well maker to get void wells after you dodge which is going to make you go invis so you're going to always want to be dodging to go invis anyways and you're going to be spawning wells with reaping well maker and then i'm running harmonic siphon as well to spawn those orbs of power when i'm getting kills with my void weapons to get devour on the grips here i'm running elemental ordinance because you're going to be spawning so many elemental wells you're going to constantly have your abilities up so you're going to be wanting to throw those nades all the time getting a lot of damage out with the vortex nades which are lasting longer thanks to the fragments on my chest here i'm running font of might just to get another little damage damage buff to our void weapons on the boots here i'm running insulation to get more class ability regen when you pick up an orb of power which you're going to be spawning with harmonic siphon and then a well of tenacity to get a little bit more of a resist from picking up those void wells and then on the cloak here i'm running powerful friends because you want to have your mobility as high as possible so getting powerful friends on there or even those new artifact mods with the plus five to mobility is going to be the way to go to get your mobility up as high as possible i have powerful friends on here just so i can get high result as well other than that this build is so much fun to do as you can see in the background gameplay here you're basically always having volatile rounds up you're making everything explode you're basically never dying because you're always invis it's a great time but that's going to do it for the video if you guys enjoyed the build be sure to drop a like i'm going to have the dim link in the comments below other than that enjoy the rest of your day be sure to like and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next one peace